everyone. Welcome back to Visartist. Today we will learn Class 7, Chapter Number 3 of Geography, Our Changing Earth, wherein we will understand about the various changes that occur in our dynamic planet Earth. In the last video, we had understood endogenic changes. Be sure to check the description for the link of that video. And in today's video, we will understand exogenic changes. So let's get started. Exogenic changes. The changes that occur on the surface of earth and form landforms are exogenic changes. The main types are erosion and deposition. So if we study the word exogenic, we understand it means exo, which means outside, and genic, which means origin. So the changes that origin outside means on the surface of Earth. Those changes are called as exogenic changes. These changes are responsible for forming landforms and other beauties, such as waterfalls and other things. The main two types of exogenic changes are erosion and deposition. So now let's understand erosion and deposition. Erosion is the wearing of landforms through various mediums and deposition is the settling down of eroded materials. So, when because of various mediums like harsh conditions, the landforms wear off like the soil gets eroded away. And once those mediums come to a stop, they are deposited. This is called as deposition. Deposited means they settle down and form new landforms. Sometimes alone erosion is also responsible for the formation of a few landforms. Now let's see the work of a river in exogenic changes. When a river flows on top of a cliff and once it comes to a dead end, it falls down with great force. This results in the formation of a waterfall. There are many beautiful waterfalls around the world, such as the Venezuela or Angel Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in the world, and the Niagara Falls located on the border of Canada and the USA. Also, when a river enters a plain, it creates a little bends called as meanders. When the river flows, collects bit of the sand and silt in its path and then it deposits them when it reaches to be barren lands or other places. In such way, because of this continuous process, a part of the meander is cut off, forming lakes. These lakes are called as cut off or oxbow lakes. Also, sometimes when the river overflows, it deposits is its eroded material on its banks. This creates a little bit elevated banks called as levees. Also, sometimes it forms a brand new plain called as flood plains. These flood plains are very fertile soil and are great for cultivation. When a river rushes towards the sea, it slows down and it is branched into many distributaries. In other words, distributaries are the tributaries that are formed because of the slow pace of river as it reaches the sea. Also, because the pace slows down, the eroded material is deposited here only, forming deltas. Deltas are very fertile and have rich mangrove vegetation. Now let's understand the work of sea in the formation of landforms and other natural beauties. When sea wave hits a cliff or a rock in the sea, it creates a crack. This crack grows because of the continuous hitting process and turns into a sea cave. This sea cave 
is a little larger than a crack, but it has a back wall and also a roof. But as the process continues, the back wall gets eroded away, forming a sea arc, wherein only the side walls and the roof is left. But as this process continues, the roof is also eroded away, forming stacks. Stacks are simply the leftover part of the eroded cliff. The eroded material is carried away to the shore and deposited, forming beaches. Now let's understand the work of ice in formation of landforms and exogenic changes. Glaciers. Glaciers are simply rivers made up of ice. When these move, they reveal the rock and the soil beneath them and these become a new landform. Also, sometimes when they move, they deposit the eroded material forming glacial moraines. So these are also a type of landform. Also sometimes as they move, they create cracks which are filled with water and as vegetation blooms, it forms beautiful lakes. Now let's understand the work of wind. Wind is an active agent of erosion and deposition, not only in deserts but in other places as well but we are going to focus on the erosion and deposition which wind causes in desert any rock in the desert the part below is eroded more because of the wind as compared to the upper part this result in mushroom shaped rocks wherein the base has more erosion occurring as compared to the top part in this way the base becomes thinner and the top becomes bigger resulting in mushroom rocks. Also when the wind blows in desert area, it carries a bit of sand along with it. And as it comes to a stop, it deposits that sand forming low hill like structures known as sand dunes. Many sand dunes formed together nearby are called as loess. Large deposits of loess are found in China and other places as well. So this was it for today. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to give thumbs up, share it with your friends and click on that red subscribe button. A next video will be soon uploaded on the exercise of this chapter. Be sure to check that link as well in the description below. Thank you. Bye bye.